Germany's environment minister face to face with German industry's biggest wind turbine, 135 meters high. Peter Altmaier is paying a visit to the Enercon company in Magdeburg, Saxony Anhalt. Altmaier could use a good tailwind himself if he's to push through the country's planned switch from nuclear power to wind and solar energy. Ideas on the best alternative energy forms are still under discussion. Berlin would prefer to build large wind farms offshore in the North Sea. Enercon specializes in onshore wind turbines. Yeah. Enercon is pushing hard for the onshore type because technologically speaking that's what we have long time experience with and can guarantee. The point is that offshore wind farms have a greater capacity than onshore turbines. On the other hand, onshore technology is much more advanced and matured so it yields better short term results. When it comes to Germany's energy shift, everyone wants part of the action. The government, the federal states, industry and associations. With billions of euros at stake, who will get those contracts? Peter Altmaier has the unenviable task of coming up with a comprehensive plan. He often has to rely on his candid charm, a relaxed approach and a sense of humor. He knows he's taken on a very difficult task in turning around the country's energy policies. But he's very constructive and also determined to get it done. On the bus, Altmaier and CDU colleague Reiner Hasselhoff strive for consensus. Some say Altmaier's predecessor lacked finesse. For the native Saarlander, the art of negotiation comes easily. He looks to history for a role model. Politics is all about communication. It was like that at the time of Otto von Bismarck. He was the first German politician who employed a professional press spokesman. Altmaier is impressed with Bismarck's detailed knowledge and devours his biographies late into the night. For Altmaier, four hours sleep is enough, he says. Next stop is the Fraunhofer Institute in Skopau, where researchers are looking into new production methods for solar panels. But with Chinese manufacturers producing more cheaply, Altmaier knows the sector is in trouble. With intense competition in the photovoltaic market, it's led to some crowding out. As a result, we've seen the proportion of solar panels produced in Germany decline in that market over the past few years. That was the fate of the Bitterfeld-based company Q-Cells. Once an exemplary solar panel maker, the company is now bankrupt. Solar energy in Germany was subsidized too heavily for too long. Now those subsidies have been cut with Altmaier's approval. There is little he can offer people here but a sympathetic ear. On the return journey to Berlin, Altmaier tells us about another of his role models, a waiter he met many years ago in Italy. He certainly wasn't paid well, but he treated the few guests he had as though he was the best paid waiter in the world and the restaurant the most important in the city. It was a huge incentive to me. We achieve greater things if we believe in the things we're responsible for. And Altmaier is responsible for a lot. He says anyone overseeing the shift to renewable energies has to be optimistic. And he is. Many experts forecast an increase in electricity costs later this year due to the switch to alternative energies. Then we'll see what Peter Altmaier's optimism brings to the table.